Good morning, everybody. Let me have your attention. Right after your teacher takes the attendance, then dust your ears and give us your patience while we give you all the info coming from our new station. I know it's morning time, but people you can react to what's cooking in AHS while we tell you these facts. You need a helping hand, it's not so typical to have those. Let's just send this to the anchors in the studio. Uh. Good morning, Auburn High School. It's Monday, February 9th, a blue day. I'm Joy Johnson. And I'm Kelsey Lawler, and you're watching AHS Today. Now let's go to Logan with today's weather. I'm Logan Tyndall, here with your weather. Today there is a high of 64 with a low of 35 and a 50% chance of rain. Tomorrow there is a high of 60 with a low of 32 and a 0% chance of rain. Back to you in the studio. In today's news, it's French Week and French Club is having its annual Valentine's Day Carnation Sale through Thursday in the cafeteria in all lunch waves. Carnations cost $1 and will be delivered Friday, February 13th on 4th Block. Now let's do it for lunch with Hannah Ray and Michaela. Um, so I'm willing to bet you guys already know what tropes are. It's figurative language. You probably already recognize a whole bunch of these. Uh, metaphors, similes, hyperboles, those are all considered figurative language. Um, excuse me. What's this? Can't hand it over, please. Let's see what this is. Hey, what's for lunch? Chicken nuggets, steak sandwich, chicken, and pizza. Tomorrow, Nobel Prize winner John Shostak will be speaking tomorrow during fourth period in the AHS Auditorium. Students going to this presentation will be excused from fourth block. Now let's go to Matthew and Aaron with that week wrap up. Hey Matthew, what's up? What are you doing in my car? Nothing, just chilling. Just chilling? Yeah. Matthew, you seem a little down. What's wrong with you? Nothing. You sure? You sure? Matthew. Aaron. Matthew. Aaron. Well, anyway, I got something to cheer you up. Let me tell you about what happened last week. Hey, got a little good news now That really, really fits your style Let me tell you how Everything I've heard about Will turn that frown upside down Know a couple things that have happened throughout the week And if you don't mind, I'll give you a sneak peek A young brother like myself enjoyed the winter retreat And that is something that I really wish that we could repeat I know this might seem strange Be telling you about the fun I've had But where's that happiness you came are you feeling better? Tell me the truth But if not, I'll think of something new If that's cool with you Well, first of all, I'm in a pretty good mood I'm just trying to hop into my car and get out of this school You mentioned to me that you had a pretty good week But didn't give me any info that has happened Let me think, hmm. I remember just a handful of things Like when several other students signed to play for different teams And of course the club meetings plus the NHS inductions Beside you in the retreat, what did you do? Nothing How are you feeling now? How am I feeling? Get out of my car Get out my, Come on, get out of the car Unlock the door, no. unlock the door no. Unlock the door no. And I'm not playing, unlock this door no. Unlock the door Oh Student Outreach for Christ will meet Wednesday morning at 7.15 in room 9211. Campus Life meets every Wednesday morning at 7.07 in the choir room. Breakfast and drinks are provided. From this week's Guest at the Desk, Miss Reveal. We would like to welcome Miss Reveal to the news desk. Hello. How are you? I'm excellent, thank you. How are you? I'm fabulous. Okay, so can you tell us a little bit about the ACT Work Keys? I would love to. So the ACT Work Keys is actually a series of tests and it's supposed to be testing your preparedness for the world of work. We're going to be taking three of the tests, um, the Applied Mathematics, Reading for Information, and Locating Information. So whereas just the ACT was supposed to say, hey, this is how ready for college you are, this is supposed to say, hey, this is how ready for work Awesome. Well, could you um, also explain like how this would be beneficial to the student body? Yeah, so um, there are actually a lot of businesses that use this test to determine whether or not you're fit for employment. In fact, Mando, um, which is just an Opelika, they give this test to all of their employees to see if they're prepared for the work environment. 
Um, so anytime you can practice something before you have to actually do it in a way that might determine whether or not you're hired, I think it's a good idea. Mm -hmm. um, another thing is there's research that shows that the more prepared you are to be a good employee, actually the better you tend to do in college. So even if you're planning not to go straight to work next year, but if you're planning to go to college, um, I would still take this pretty seriously because it'll give you an idea of your college preparedness too. Awesome. Well, um, could you also just tell us how we might go about finding more information? I think the easiest thing to do would just be to Google ACT Work Keys and then go to the ACT website from there instead of trying to find it on the long URL. Um, if you Google ACT Work Keys um, Alabama, it'll tell you specifically stuff about how we're taking it in the state. But we'll be taking it February 10th along with every other senior in the state of Alabama. Um, so it's a wonderful bonding moment for you and your fellow Alabamians. Okay, awesome. Well, thank you so much for coming and visiting with us You're today. Welcome. If you are a 12th grader, remember you will be taking the ACT Work Keys this Thursday, February 12th. ACT Work Keys assessments are research-based measures of foundational work skills required for success across industries and occupations. Visit the ACT website for more information. Good luck to William Hudson, Octavius Whitfield, and Patrick Andio, who are representing the 10th grade class this week in the Big Man on Campus fundraiser for American Cancer Society. Good luck to 11th grade big man representatives Noah Rubin, Drew Beisel, and Tyler Pritchett. And last but not least, good luck to the 12th grade big man on campus representatives Ben Rolander, Dami Vassina, and Jonathan Smith. The money these students will raise will go towards the Relay for Life team. Tiger TV would like to wish a happy birthday to Miss Link and a happy belated birthday to Miss Aaliyah. Thanks for tuning in. That's AHS Today. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance and observe a moment of silence.